the EFCF. Flight Control Normal Law In the Flight Control's Introduction Module, you learn that the Flight Control Hydraulic Servo Jacks receive inputs from the side sticks or autopilot through the Electronic Flight Control System. The EFCS includes the ELACs, SECs, and FACs. The EFCS processes these inputs that are programmed to position the flight controls according to preset limitations and instructions known as laws. There are three flight control laws that are used by the EFCS. These laws are normal, alternate, and direct. The EFCS normally commands normal law, but some component failures will require the EFCS to command alternate law or direct law. Alternate and direct law are known as reversion laws and will be covered in a different module. Normal law provides automated control over the three flight axes. It ensures that the operation remains within the normal flight envelope for a transport category aircraft and provides protection against exceeding design maneuver loads while using the flight controls. Normal law has three modes for three phases of flight. These modes are ground, flight, and flare, as shown in this logic diagram. During the ground mode operation, the flight controls are moved from the at-rest position in direct proportion to the side stick displacement from the neutral hands-off position. The at-rest position is trail for the rudder and elevators, but the ailerons will be in the droop position. Before takeoff, there is no auto trim function, so the pilot must manually set the takeoff THS setting. After landing, the THS normally automatically resets to zero degrees, but the reset will stop if the pitch attitude increases above plus 2.5 degrees. Let's now describe the flight. During takeoff, the aircraft is in the ground mode and the elevator up deflection limit of 30 degrees is reduced to 20 degrees as the aircraft passes through 70 knots. The flight mode blends in after takeoff with a gradual transition from the ground mode. Notice the conditions for this transition are shown on the logic diagram. During manual flight, the amount of side stick displacement determines pitch and roll rate. The pitch attitude is limited by the pitch attitude protection. The angle of bank is checked at a maximum normal angle, 33 degrees, by the spiral stability changing from neutral to positive with a maximum angle of bank of 67 degrees. Both pitch and roll are limited by the load factor limitation. During auto flight, the autopilot provides inputs to the EFCS to command an attitude that is normal for a transport category aircraft. Additionally, automatic pitch trim and yaw damping function throughout this mode. The flare mode engages when descending through 50 feet AGL just before landing. It provides a more conventional feel to the landing phase. The EFCS will memorize the pitch attitude at 50 feet AGL, and that becomes the initial reference for pitch attitude control. As the aircraft descends through 30 feet AGL, the EFCS will command the elevator to reduce the pitch attitude at a rate of 2 degrees nose down over a period of 8 seconds. This feature defines a trend only because touchdown will normally occur before the time period from that altitude. To flare the aircraft, this situation will require a gentle nose up command on the side stick. At touchdown, the aircraft will transition to the ground mode and the THS will reset to zero degrees. 
This completes our overview of the normal law for flight operations. Now for the details. This frame shows the protections that are automatically provided in normal law. Let's discuss the specifics concerning the normal law protection. First, normal law ensures the load factor is not exceeded. This protection limits control surface deflections to ensure structural limits are not exceeded. While the pilot can move the side stick to the mechanical stops at any time, the EFCS will ensure that the aircraft remains within the structural limitations. While the aircraft is clean, the structural load limits are plus 2.5 G to minus 1 G. While either slats or flaps are extended, the structural load limits are reduced to plus 2 G to 0 G. Normal law also provides pitch attitude protection. Similar to the load factor limitation, if the commanded pitch attitude reaches the nose up limit, the EFCS will limit the pitch attitude. The pitch limit protection applies either when the input is provided by the side sticks or the autopilot. On the PFD, two sets of green parallel dash symbols display the pitch attitude protection limits for 30 degrees nose up and 15 degrees nose down. At lower speeds, the EFCS will reduce the nose up pitch limit to 25 degrees, clean, or 20 degrees, config full, but the symbols will not change. Normal law also provides high angle of attack protection to prevent stalling and to facilitate temporary optimal performance for evasion escape maneuvers during wind shear, TCAS, or GPWS recovery. The high angle of attack protection takes priority over all other types of pitch protection. High angle of attack protection is displayed on the PFD speed scale. We'll now describe the types of thrust and angle of attack protection. As speed decreases, it approaches VLS, which is the lowest selectable speed, and if auto thrust is engaged, the auto thrust will apply thrust to maintain that speed. This protection is strictly an automated protection by auto thrust to maintain VLS and is independent of angle of attack. The next level of protection is V-alpha max. If V-alpha protection is reached while using the side stick, the speed can be reduced to a lower speed and a higher alpha until V-alpha max is reached. The EFCS will not maintain alpha more than V-alpha max, even if the pilot holds the side stick full aft. During this condition, nose-up pitch trim is inhibited. If the auto thrust is inoperative or not engaged, the speed can be reduced to a higher alpha protection regime, V alpha protection, which is shown as the top of the amber black band barber pole. If the autopilot is engaged, it will disconnect if V alpha protection plus one degree is reached. To simplify the relationship between the terms V-alpha protection and V-alpha max, because it is a range of operation that the side stick maintains a relationship with alpha throughout that regime, those terms should be thought of as V-alpha protection minimum and V-alpha protection 
maximum. Please note that a keyword with the preceding statement is maintain. An external air mass gradient can exist that will allow temporary excursions out of the protection limits, but the EFCS will command the aircraft to return within the protection limits. In the protection range, the normal law input is modified, and side stick input is an alpha input instead of a load factor input. In other words, side stick will adjust alpha instead of 1G load. If the pilot releases the side stick at V alpha max, the speed will return to and maintain V alpha protection. Between V alpha protection and V alpha max is a value for alpha, depending on the configuration that will activate the auto thrust if it is operable and apply toga until it is disconnected. This feature is called alpha floor. It is a thrust feature only not a flight control feature. An accelerated feature of alpha floor will activate if full back side stick is applied and the nose up pitch limit is reached regardless of the alpha. The FMA will indicate alpha floor until the conditions for alpha floor no longer exist. Then the FMA will indicate TOGA LK. The best method for disconnecting TOGA LK is to select the auto thrust levers to idle. This will disconnect the auto thrust, select the auto thrust push button on, and then place the auto thrust levers to climb. Normal law provides high speed protection. It is designed to prevent the aircraft from exceeding maximum design speed. These protection limits are displayed on the PFD speed scale. VMO MMO is represented as the bottom of the red black barber pole. Two parallel green dashes indicate the speed mock at which the protection is activated. When the speed mock increases above VMO MMO, an overspeed ECAM warning is triggered. If the airspeed mock increases to the protection activation speed, the autopilot will disengage and the EFCS will send a pitch up command to the flight controls to prevent further acceleration. The EFCS will permit exceeding the speed for maneuvering for TCAS resolution if necessary. With stick released, the speed will return to VMO MMO. The angle of bank is checked at a maximum normal angle 33 degrees by the spiral stability changing from neutral to positive with a maximum angle of bank at 67 degrees. If the pilot holds full lateral side stick, the angle of bank will increase and maintain 67 degrees. The flight director will disappear if the angle of bank exceeds 45 degrees. If the side stick is released at any time when the bank angle exceeds 33 degrees, the aircraft will return to and maintain 33 degrees bank angle. The flight director will be displayed again when the angle of bank reduces to less than 45 degrees. Auto trim is inhibited above 33 degrees of bank. If V alpha protection is active, the bank angle is limited to 45 degrees. With the high speed protection active, the bank angle limit is reduced from 67 degrees to 45 degrees, and the system maintains a positive spiral stability to zero degrees bank angle, so that if the side stick is released, the aircraft returns to wings level. We have described the operation of normal law. We will study the reconfiguration laws in the next module.